hello everyone welcome to my channel if you have not already subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel today's topic is etl with sas creating and accessing dbms temporary tables in context with teradata as dbms this is a short topic and now let us look into some basics which are needed for this topic first one is how we can access dbms tables dbms tables can be accessed in two ways the first one is by libname method first we need to give the lib name and then we need to give a name here followed by the engine we are going to use and the credentials and path this may differ little bit from database to database especially this part and once we have defined this lib name we can access oracle table another way to access oracle tables is by using explicit pass through wherein we use connect to oracle statement and we give all the credentials and everything needed and then we execute the query and everything happens in oracle this doesn't happen in sas as shown above to know more details on this please look into the topic below i will also leave the link in the description and now let us have very basic teradata primer so that you will understand the future queries every teradata table needs a primary index on a unique column for data distribution to have primary index at the end of create table statement we need to have with data primary index column name so with the create table statement at the end we need to add this piece of code temporary table in dbms is like work table in sas and is valid for a particular session and is mentioned as volatile table in teradata so in addition we need to write create volatile table and again in the end we need to mention with data primary index and in the bracket column name as in here and also we need to add on commit preserve rows because by default if we don't give this all the records will be deleted now let us try to see this in the code say here i am running the explicit pass through where we are connecting to teradata and we are creating two tables the first table is a permanent table and here we are mentioning with data primary index in the bracket the column name and we are also creating a volatile table and also we are giving with data primary index column name on commit preserve rows and then we are disconnecting from teradata additionally we need to all also have execute commit work by teradata forget about this part but i want you to remember two things the first one is we need to give here the volatile table and also we need to mention with data primary index the column name now that we have covered some basics and also teradata primer now it's time to look in why we need database temporary tables database temporary tables are needed because we generally don't have any right access to permanent tables most of the programmers may not may not have access to write to permanent tables so what we can do is we can create dbms temporary tables another important point is etl design involves lot of database steps this i will show in the next slide bringing lot of data to sas and processing in sas is very inefficient instead it is better to do everything in the database and bring small data set to sas say for example you have a 500 million record tables and then you are doing lot of joins and then finally you are creating a 1 million table it is better to do all those kind of things in database 
because if you are going to bring 500 million table to SAS, it will take a lot of time. Now let us look into the query which I was talking about in the earlier slide. If you see here, we are creating two volatile tables and these two volatile tables, we are finally creating a third volatile table. The second volatile table creation I have not shown, but you get the idea. The bottom line is we are doing step one and step two to get step three. And whenever we do something like this, as I said, it's better to do in database. So now I would like to talk the crux of this topic. As mentioned previously, one of the properties of temporary table is to be available only for that particular session. In this case, once this explicit pass through is done, it will not be available for a step to make it available between different procedures or different data steps or the boundary could be anything to make it available for every procedure and step we need to mention connection equal to global once we mention connection equal to global it creates a single connection and makes it available to different data steps or different SAS procedures. Even after disconnecting here, we can use this temporary table in a data step. And let us see how we can do that and how by using this Teradata temporary table, we can create a SAS data set. Now let us see how we can move DBMS temporary table into SAS. This can be done usually with the help of connection equal to global and DBMS temp equal to S. So we need to write lib name and give a name and we need to mention Teradata and we need to mention Teradata credentials here and then we need to mention connection equal to global and DBMS temp equal to S. DBMS temp equal to S means we are telling that this is a DBMS temporary table. And once we have created the lib name like this, we can reference it by using that lib name and we can access that table and create the table in SAS. So to sum it up, we need to do we need to do two things the first thing is we need to create our temporary tables by giving connection equal to global that is in here and then we need to also mention the lib name statement to access those temporary tables in that lib name we need to mention connection equal to global dbms temp equal to s and then we, act, we can access the temporary tables. If we don't do these steps, we cannot access Teradata or database temporary tables. I have taken the example of Teradata, but it is pretty much similar to any other database. Whenever you use any databases and try to do temporary tables, you need to remember connection equal to global and DBS, DBMS temp equal to S to access temporary tables. That's all for this topic. If you like this topic, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe. Your like, shares and subscribe means a lot to me. Thank you.